Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who were guiding and teaching the church well in these last days. And I want to say salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Baath Shah Dawada, which is the house of David, the elect. I'm Shamar Moth, and uh, I'm going to do a quick lesson all right, on this scripture out of the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Okay, the sixth chapter and the 22nd verse. And um, it's something I've been meditating on and pondering for the last week or so, week and a half or so. All right, and I only got a couple precepts. It's going to be real quick. But Lord willing, I don't want to write this out. You'll be edified through the Spirit. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And again, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter number six and verse 22. And it reads, for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. That's right. This wisdom is not manifest unto many. The Lord only gave this wisdom to a select group of men on this planet Earth. OK, he only gave this wisdom to the 144,000 kings and priests, all right? The 144,000 from the 12 tribes of Yasharala, okay? His servants, the prophets, all right? And no one else, okay? <laughs> a a uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, all right? Who are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners, all right? Two-thirds of you all right, are blind, man. Okay, the, the Most High has, has has blinded you. He's got you in a, in a, in, a, in a spiritually dead state. Okay, and you've got wicked scribes and Pharisees out here among Israel. Okay, among Yasharala, who don't understand this uh, wisdom, who can't get it, who are void of this knowledge and understanding. Okay. Who, for example, can't break down the mystery of the Gentiles. That's a big one, man. All right, the mystery of the Gentiles. That's a big stumbling block among Israel. Okay, among Yasharala. Okay, but like the uh, uh, but like the scriptures say in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter thirty nine and verse twenty four, I believe it says, "As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked." All right, the Lord only meant for the 144,000 to understand this wisdom, right? To be able to, to be able, he only uh, uh, gave, all right, this, this knowledge and understanding to the 144,000. He only revealed the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to the 144,000. All right. That's who it's all about, man. <laughs> the 144K, that's who it is all about. All right. And, 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 who the Lord is dealing with in the earth today, all right, are the men of the great millstone, okay? The men of the great millstone, beginning with the pillars of the church, the elder apostles, okay? The elder apostles, Tahar, Gabar, Aramlab, and Rakar, all right? Then you got the bishops, then you got the elders, all right? Then you got the Achium out here on the highways and hedges, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way, okay? Waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who the Lord gave this wisdom to. It's not manifest unto many. Okay? And this is a tremendous gift we've been given, man. This, this gift of faith. And look, this ain't for your family. This sure as hell ain't for your friends in the world. It ain't for, it ain't even for, again, it ain't even for two-thirds of our own people, man. The Lord gave this to you. The Lord gave this to me. OK, and he put a spirit on that remnant of believing Israelites to be able to understand the things that we're saying through the spirit. OK. Yeah. He's got men, women and children out there among the nation of Israel who believe the things we're saying. All right. Who have faith. OK. Who can receive these things. This is beautiful, man. Your pa. All right. This is beautiful. All right. We got a chair. And I know I'm, uh, excuse me. I know I'm preaching to the choir. 
because I know you, uh, you Aki out there who are doing the work, who are laboring in sound doctrine. I know you cherish it. We got to cherish this thing, man. We got the top knowledge on planet Earth. Okay. The Lord revealed these things unto babes, man, because none of us was, was trained up in the law. Right? None of us came into this world knowing we was Israelites, raised up doing the customs. You know, we was unlearned, man. Okay. It, it tells you that in uh, Matthews, the 11th chapter and the 25th verse, I actually had the verse pulled up. That the Lord hid these things from the wise and the prudent of this world and revealed them unto babes. We're those babes. Okay. We are those babes the Lord is dealing with. Okay. You have to come into this thing like a child, man. All right. You have to be born again. All right. You have to be born again. You have to forget everything you've been taught. We had to forget everything we've been taught. Most of us, 99% of us was taught that Christianity bullshit. All right. We had to come in as, 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 as little children, man. Okay. And unlearn all that madness. All right. We're the babes that the Lord is dealing with. Again, that's Matthew's the 11th chapter and the 25th verse. Yet, yeah, you know, the, the Lord, Yahweh, he ain't dealing with uh, the wise and prudent. Okay. Matter of fact, there's another scripture. Let me get this one. There's another scripture. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. That speak, speaks to this as well. All right. And this is 1 Corinthians again, chapter 1 and verse 26. And it reads, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, okay, not many mighty, not many noble are called, right? Yeah, not many wise men after the flesh are called to do this work, okay? Again, the, the, the Lord is not dealing with the wisdom of this world. Matter of fact, in this same chapter, the Apostle Paul writes through the Spirit that the wisdom of this world is foolishness. With the most high, Yahweh bless me, Yahweh. He's not dealing with the wise, all right. It's <coughs> like it with the wise men after the flesh. Okay, he's not dealing with the mighty, and it says not many noble are called. Okay, we know we've been called to do this work. All right, we don't know if we've been chosen yet, but we know we've been called, and we, and we've been anointed. Okay, from on high, we received that I salve. All right, from you, how about Shemar Shai? We, <coughs> Salakia, we can see these things, man. <laughs> we can understand, you know, the, the, these mysteries. Okay, again, we're conversant in these hard sayings and dark parables. All right, we got that, man. Again, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful gift we've been given. Can't stress that enough. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's go to uh, da, 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 da. Amos. All right, milk scripture. Amos the third chapter and the seventh verse. All right, milk. And it reads: Surely the Lord power Yahweh will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. That's right. He's revealed the secrets of the scriptures unto who? His servants, the prophets. That's who he's dealing with, man. And again, those men are the men of the great millstone and her affiliates. Okay? Those of us coming with the right doctrine. Those of us in the right spirit. And as always, we'll say it again, it starts with the top men in Israel. Okay? The elder apostles. On down, man. Okay? Yeah, he reveals... His secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay. Matthew, the 13th chapter and the 11th verse. Let's get that one. Another milk scripture. And uh, let's see. I didn't have this one pulled up, so bear with me for just a second. Matthew is the 13th chapter. All right. And uh, starting in verse 10, 
And it reads, And the disciples came and said unto him, referring to Yahweh, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's right, man. He was, Again, he's not dealing with the wicked scribes and Pharisees out here. Okay? He's not dealing with men like Bishop Nate. He's not dealing with men like General Johanna. He's not dealing with men like Jephthah. All right, of one body in Yahweh. I don't even know if, if they got Yahweh on our names at this point. But it used to be one body in Yahweh. All right, that bug out denies that Yahweh did literal miracles, for example. He's way the hell off. Okay? The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven aren't revealed to men like this. The wicked scribes and Pharisees. All right? The hypocrites, man. Them grievous wolves. All right? Yeah. It was given to a select group of men on the planet. That's the 144,000. All right? Again, the kings and priests. All right? The men who are fixing to take the kingdom. All right? And rule this earth in righteousness, man. All right? Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be a kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right? And 144,000 going to rule and reign up under Malak Dawadah, King David, who will sit on his throne. All right, he'll be up under Yahweh Shah, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he'll be up under Yahweh, the God of Gods. All right, the one the, the world ignorantly refers to as God. That's right, man. So I'm gonna end it off in um, in Second uh, Ezra twelve. Okay. Uh, in Second Ezra twelve. Okay, if the Lord's not dealing with you, you'll never be able to understand it. Okay, you have certain men out here among Israel, all right, who are totally breaking down this chapter incorrectly. Okay, they'll tell you that Second Ezra chapters eleven and twelve are dealing with America, and they're not. Okay, Second Ezra twelve. Let me get to it. Second Ezra twelve is actually expounding upon Second Ezra eleven, and in Second Ezra the twelfth chapter. Ezra breaks down, all right, the, the the 12 feathers. Who are the 12 feathers? What do the 12 feathers represent? Okay. And those 12 fe feathers represent the 12 Caesars of Rome. All right. Second Ezra, the 12th chapter is going into the ancient Roman Empire. Okay. And again, them 12 feathers are the 12 Caesars of Rome, starting with Julius Caesar. Okay, and then you had Augustus, who uh, out of the 12, he reigned the longest. I believe he reigned for, well, between, depending on what scholar you cite, between 40 and 50 years. Then you had Tiberius, I believe, uh, Claudius, Nero's in there. I can't name them in order, uh, but you can look it up, all right? Uh, uh, the last three were uh, 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 Vespasian, okay, Titus and Domitian. Titus and Domitian were his sons. And they made up the Flavian dynasty. Okay? So, yeah, man. And 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 again, the Lord is only revealing these things, okay, to his servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord. Okay? Average Jake don't know nothing about the Flavian dynasty. <laughs> he don't know nothing about Julius Caesar and, Ag and Augustus. All right? He don't, he don't know nothing about the first triumvirate. Okay. This is only for a select group of men. So I'm not going to break down the whole chapter. All right. But if you're interested and if the Lord has his spirit upon you, you know, go search it out. The Lord said, seek and you will find. Right. Knock and the door will be open unto you. That's what is that? Matthew's the seventh chapter. Okay. If the Lord is seven with you, he's going to, he's going to, uh, he's going to reveal these things to you. And he's going to give you a heart to believe him, man, or a mind to believe. All right. So let me get let me get to the point, okay? And I'll wrap this up. All right. Um. So again, after he breaks all that down, all right, and expounds upon everything, all right, that was written in the eleventh chapter. Right. We get to, we get to uh, verse. Uh, 
I mean, this is second like Arizona's 14. My bad. I was wondering why it looked. Oh, no, I got to get to 12. <laughs> I was wondering why it looked funny. All right. Forgive me. So after all that, we get to verse, what is it, 35? Yeah. We get to verse 35, and it reads, all right, 2 Ezra 12 and verse 35. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations. Verse 36, and this is the point. Thou only hast been meet to know this secret of the highest. <laughs> See? Who, who does Ezra represent? Ezra obviously represents the 144,000. Okay? He represents his servants, the prophets. Okay, read it again. Thou only has been meet to know this secret of the highest. This ain't for everyone. Okay? This ain't for everyone. The only ones, again, who can break these things down, who can understand this book called the Holy Bible, who can understand the Apocrypha, which belongs in the Bible vocab alone, are the 144,000. Okay, verse 37. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them. <laughs> these things are hidden away from most people on planet Earth. Okay? They're hidden away from the wicked scribes and Pharisees. They're hidden away from two, the two-thirds in general. All right, they're sure as hell hidden away from Esau. He don't know what the fuck's going on. All right, and the heathen are out here clueless as hell too. Okay, these things are hidden. All right. It says in verse 38, and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts, okay, or minds thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Okay, yeah, this manifests, it's like you. Yeah. <laughs> this wisdom is not manifest unto many. Okay, and Lord willing, again, I don't want to write this out. You was edified through the Spirit. With that, I want to say shalom, and it's on to the next video.